Hey, what's up, everyone? OJ over here from Player Essence. Welcome back to another OJ stream. Today we got a good one for you guys. Let me talk about Fire Emblem. Got some Emblem of Firing to be doing. I know a lot of you guys have been playing Fire Emblem, so that's been a lot of fun. Uh, we also have to talk about... Where the hell is my chat? There we go. Um, we also have to talk about Doom. Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 3 all got surprise launches on the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and Android slash like iOS or whatever. So we're talking about that. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I guess like QuakeCon is going on. I can't, to be honest, man. I'll I'll be honest with you guys. I can't stand first person shooters. Like they just make me. I, I've lost my patience for first person shooters, and I just get dizzy whenever I see people. Even when I watch other people play them, I get dizzy. I can't even. I don't even have the stomach to watch first person shooters anymore. So I mean. I don't really care too much, but I know a lot of you guys like shooting stuff first person. So we'll talk about that because uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Panic Button also did some work on uh, on that Doom, uh, those Doom games. So pretty cool there. Uh, we're also going to discuss uh, Room Factory 4 and Room Factory 5, kind of like what's going down with the Switch sales there. Uh, Fire Emblem, we got some more updates on the Switch sales as well. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about that. And um, I'll have a video tomorrow for you guys. I actually have some pretty cool stuff planned. Uh, I've got a really cool giveaway that I can finally announce because I finally got the package in the mail. Uh, so I got some really cool giveaways for you guys. Um, or a really cool, like, a lot of you guys missed out on this, which I talked about in one of my videos. And you guys will have the opportunity to win a full set of Fire Emblem pins. The rare Fire Emblem pins. I've got um, a number of those pins that I'm going to be able to give away. Um, so, um, I will be having a giveaway for that full details will be going live tomorrow. I'm going to be having an unboxing of the special edition and I will be, um, giving the, it'll, it'll be via gleam. So, um, there'll be entries that you can do, whether it's like watching a video, whether it's uh, subscribing, um, being a Twitch follower, being a Twitch subscriber, there'll be all sorts of ways that you can enter. And, um, if you're here in the U S I can definitely ship that for you. Now, if it's international, we have to talk about shipping in terms of in terms of all that because international shipping is very risky. Um, so we we'll have to talk about that. But people, it will be available really uh, for uh, U.S. because like, I don't think most people are going to want to pay for the shipping for international. Um, but we will be able to work. I mean, we can do gift cards, we can do other so or other sorts of stuff. But I am going to give away at least at least two sets of pins at least two sets of pins so there will be a video and of course um uh the official start of that tomorrow and that'll go for about a week uh, before we uh, get that shipped off so like i said there'll be multiple ways to win as well um so yeah uh good stuff there um all right so let's see here um let's go ahead and let's get into uh, the ninja news if you have not seen my video for this morning make sure you check it out i think a lot of you guys missed it um, and that was my uh, Fire Emblem video, uh, Fire Emblem oh, video, or not Fire Emblem, yo, Ace Devious, yo, thank you so much, hit this with that Mackie Q sitting down, let's go, thank you, welcome back to the Late Ninja Village over here on YouTube, uh, let one of, let me know on Twitter if you want to get in on the Discord so you can play against me in Super Smash Brothers and all that, I think you're already a member, you're already one on, on Twitch, so I think you're already good there, but if you need any help, let me know, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Um, and of course, enjoy your emotes that are not blurry at this point. Uh, but my bad. Um, let me get to what I was saying. Um, Astral Chain. We had a new Astral Chain video. So make sure you guys check out that reaction. I thought it was a pretty dope trailer. Astral Chain is looking good. But I just don't think you guys are as interested in Astral Chain as you guys are like in like Legend of Zelda or like Fire Emblem content or even like Marvel Ultimate Alliance to some degree. But anyway, check out that video when you guys get the opportunity. I thought it was a pretty cool uh, reaction video. Um, I'll have more on Astral Chain next week. There should be some more information going up once August hits. Um, I've heard around the grapevine that uh, not next week, but the week after. Sometimes next week, but maybe maybe next week, but the, definitely the week after. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff going up with Astral Chain. Like a lot of cool stuff. So, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll be covering Astral Chain a lot more um, in the next week or so. Um, all right. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and get into the shout outs here. Um, if you're here in the chat, you want me to say hi, do you feel free to say hi? And I'll be more than happy to say hi back. I know I saw Party Man here. Um, Tony says, same motion sickness when watching first person shooters. Yeah, I think, I think I'm officially done forever from first person shooters. I think, I don't think I'm ever going to play like another one outside of work. And even if it is like, even like, I don't know if I'm even going to play one for work. Like, I think I'm just done with first person shooters completely. Um, let's see here. Uh, TH3, what's good? Um... <clears throat> 
Let's see here. Uh, Fury Tiger, what's up? The Lurkin playing Fire Emblem. I know everybody's playing Fire Emblem today. Uh, Aron, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Um, Galaxy B Master, once again, shout out to Galaxy B Master. Um, <clears throat> shout out, Sketchy Nerd. Congrats on that. Kieran, what's up? Um, let's see here. Uh, Robert, shout out to Elite Ninja Robert in the house. What's, what's good? Lou Silver, what's up, man? How's it going? Uh, I've been back for a few days now. Isaac, what's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you here, Isaac. Uh, let's see here. No problem, man. I'm, I'm. I, you know what the funny thing is? I've gotten so many people say, "Yo, OJ, I purchased Fire Emblem based on your coverage, and thank you so much. This might be my favorite game, or one of my favorite games ever." I've already gotten people tell me that, like, Fire Emblem is that good. And I told you guys, I don't steer you guys wrong when it comes to a game that I shill ridiculously you know that it, it's going to be good there's only a few games that i show ridiculously and i'm talking about like multiple videos like 50 videos or whatever that stuff like xenoblade fire emblem platinum games titles like astral chain stuff like that i'll show all those games because those games are really that good they're really that good and everybody's saying fire emblem is freaking amazing everybody's really loving fire emblem and it's a unique title that's i think that's one of the best things about fire emblem there's not a lot of games like it out there there's a lot of games I mean, there's a lot of elements in Fire Emblem that you see in other games, but there's not a lot of games like Fire Emblem. There's like, like with the strategy, like people don't play those type of games. So when you get the combination of doing stuff like, like Persona, um, and then also doing regular turn-based RPG, but then also adding in that strategy, this is a whole new layer for people that a lot of people have never experienced. A lot of people have never played Fire Emblem. So many people have never played the, never played a Fire Emblem game, and this is their first one. So it, it's cool to see that. Um, let's see. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch for uh, gameplay live streams like PE Ultimate, stuff like that. That's going to be on Twitch. So we're still streaming on Twitch, guys. Um, so we're still streaming on there. But like a lot of the other stuff that people don't like to watch as much here, we're going to be doing on Twitch. So if you like my gameplay live streams um, or like PE Ultimate, like when we play Smash, when we do stuff like that, that's going to be on Twitch. So, so yeah. Um... <clears throat> um, actually, to be honest, um, even before I moved over to Twitch, I had this layout. So, so yeah. Uh, but it's all good, though. I appreciate it. Um, let's see here. You so you decided not to watch anything Fire Emblem Three Houses until you get the game, but you've already seen trailers. So, <laughs> that's not true. Matthew Campos, what's good, man? Uh, Amiibo fan says, I didn't buy Fire Emblem Three Houses. You didn't buy Fire Emblem Three Houses? That's unfortunate. The game is amazing. Um, Shadow King, what's up, man? TY, what's up? Gunslinger, what's up, guys? Good to see all you guys here. Omega Chase, Jeremy Hayes, shout outs. Isaiah, what's up, man? Um, Shadow King, what's up, man? How's it going? Sans Dies, what's up? Loki G, TY, shout outs. Shout outs, all of you guys. Um, there's a good chance that Fire Emblem. It's going to get nominated and it's going to win Game of the Year for a lot of, for, I, don't, I don't know about a lot, for, but for some places, it's definitely going to do so. Um, but like people like to just sit there and use the Game Awards as some type of governing body of the gaming gaming industry, which I know Jeff Keighley likes to look at it that way and he's tried to position it that way. But if you look at it from there, I mean, it, it, it'll probably get nominated. It's the highest rated, you know, Nintendo Switch um rpg this year or it's one of the highest rated rpgs this year if not the highest rated one um so it has like what like an 88 on metacritic right now so that's definitely high enough to put you in the conversation uh for game of the year i don't know if it's i don't know if it's gonna win it for game awards but i know for other places like ign i think it has a good shot to win ign's game of the year um it's eight rated 87 87 right now so I know it has a good shot to win like IGN. IGN gave it a 9.5. So um, there's places that gave it a 10 out of 10 too. Like Games Radar. There's, I mean, if you get a 10 out of 10, you're obviously going to be nominated. So it's definitely going to be nominated. And it's definitely going to win in some places for sure. Because some places are giving it. Like big websites are giving it a 10. You know? Um, so it's definitely going to be nominated in a lot of places. Like, But for me, I mean, obviously, it's going to be pretty much a two a two horse showdown for me. It's going to be Fire Emblem versus Astral Chain to see who wins um, for me. So, yeah, Game Informer gave it a 95, so that's higher than, like, I think that's higher than Sekiro and uh, Resident Evil and, and some of the other games, and all, a lot of the other games that already came out this year. So, really, it's like Death Stranding, see how that game does. Um, so, yeah. Um, but overall, yeah, man, it's good. I mean, whether it wins or not, who gives a damn? I mean, honestly, like, who cares? Like, I think that's just 
game of the year that's great that's cool it's more clout for your game but at the end of the day all that matters is the all that matters is freaking the people who buy the game and the people and what they say about the game what do you, what do the fans say about the game and how much are they buying the game you know and fire emblems off to a freaking amazing start so yeah a lot of places are giving it like 95 and up yeah ign 95 nintendo enthusiast 95 game informer 95 destructoid 95 so you've got some pretty big sites giving it like super high scores so um it is what it is second and it's the second best switch game of 2019 so second best switch game of 2019 in terms of ranking i think super mario maker is above it super mario maker is above it right here but um but yeah uh yeah the game awards yeah it's a bit too western like the fact that like xenoblade and like uh octopath traveler didn't win soundtrack it's just like nah i mean i can't i can't take i can't take uh that that's when 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 octopath didn't win soundtrack that's when i was like i can't take well actually i've never been able to take them seriously but that's when i really just couldn't and i've always said like the game awards i, I like the game awards i think it's fun but it's the game awards is great for the reveals in my opinion it's great for the reveals and i know for the people that are there for the people that are advertisers it's great for them and for the people the developers that's cool they get their recognition for their game that's great but for me as a as a, somebody who's just watching you know like i think the game awards is great for the reveals because nintendo always shows up with some cool stuff we always get big announcements from other companies as well i mean there's always great stuff at the game awards i mean we got joker being revealed we got a legend of zelda breath of the wild dlc we got bayonetta one two and three revealed at the game awards i mean the game awards give, gives us great moments and it's always a fun time to go out like to, to hang out with you guys and watch the show so that's what i love about the game awards is is the community aspect not the the, the ridiculous picks of, of who wins or not i mean that's always great for people who win whatever the games if you like those games cool but for me it's always been about the community aspect and watching the game awards together as a community at the end of the year we can all celebrate you know the games that we like and stuff like that whether they win or they not or, or they don't win whatever the case is you know um so yeah <clears throat> shadow king says uh, this is my friend's first fire Emblem game he has like 10 percent off thanks to me all right good stuff uh let's see here it's an 87 noun on metacritic 87 noun um um th3 let's see here uh bayonetta did not Bay, uh, you're talking about bayonetta 2 not bayonetta 1 bayonetta bayonetta 2 and no it did not win uh in 2014 at the game awards um that was uh dragon age inquisition won that year i know crazy huh um <clears throat> All right, so let's see here. Did I miss anybody in terms of shout outs? Uh, the only problem with Link's Awakening, I think Link's Awakening and also uh, Resident Evil uh, 2 Remake, they are both fall into the same category of Remake. And that gives that gives a lot of people like, oh, well, we've already played it. Even though it's greatly updated, even though graphics, new content added, blah, blah, blah. A lot of times, like, remakes like that have a, have trouble winning and usually don't win at all. Since it is like, okay, well, it is the same game, but new stuff. Usually those have problems winning game of the years. Usually it has to be a new game, not a remake or a remaster or a re-release. And that's just, so that's even some rules some some companies uh, like have to where game of the year can't be a re-release in any form. Um, and that's the reason why like Shadow of the Colossus, I mean, you know, it was great. It was really cool. It was remade. There was new content. It was like, com looks completely different, but a lot of people didn't, it didn't get nominated for anything, even though it got great reviews and everything. And it was still a really good game um but it's a it's the it's the third time the game is being re-released or yeah the original release they had the, the hd remaster and now this one here so yeah the third release of the game so nobody gave it game of the year um so that's the only issue um despite resident evil remake and Link's awakening being fantastic games you know um yeah yeah you know i was actually hearing about that jeremy um baron told me that walmart was sold out too but i hear that some walmarts had really low stock like two copies and stuff like that but i mean i know my walmart's had more than two copies um but yeah man it's been it's been uh pretty crazy but baron came in yesterday and i was and i was rubbing it in his face that you know i got some fire emblem copies and stuff like that uh but let me real quick let me show you guys the pins that i'll be giving away for those who just came in all right so tomorrow we are gonna go live I'm gonna have an unboxing of the special edition for you guys, okay? And I'm going to, um, I am going to detail on Gleam. I'll have the Gleam link because that's what we're gonna do it for. So the more stuff that you follow me on and all that, the more entries you have. And um, I have two sets of brand new rare pins. 
I don't know when Nintendo's gonna do these again. So brand new rare pins to give away. Uh, I'll be giving away two of them. So I got to be secured two. Um, so I'll be giving these away. You'll have a chance to win it. It'll be randomly drawn and it'll be shipped straight to an address that you whoever wins it. Um, whoever wins it will be able to. So yeah, these are rare guys. These are very rare. You can scalp them. I don't care what you do with them. You can give them away. I don't really care what you do with them. Um, but yeah, people are already scalping these for, I think, let me see here, up to 80 something dollars on eBay at this point. Let me see. It's pretty crazy, the scalping already, man. Yeah, people are scalping them. People are scalping them for uh, for big prices already. Some people are, or some people put about thirty bucks for them. Buy it now, so might be able to get them right now. Um, some people are like charging like for the game and the pins seventy something, eighty dollars for them. Um, <laughs> people are people are already pricing up the collector's edition to one hundred and fifty dollars. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, these are rare. Um, if you hold on to them for a while and you wait, you might be able to get a lot more for them if you wait. So. There you go. So y'all be giving these away. Um, so make sure you guys look out tomorrow for my video. There'll be an unboxing. And um, and that's why I said, like, people say, oh, you're going to give away the game. I'm like, you know what's actually more valuable? You know what actually might be more valuable than the game? Is these. These actually might more be more valuable. So I was thinking, I can do a game giveaway. But, you know, well, a lot of you guys are going to buy the game anyway. But a lot of you guys aren't going to get access to these. So I was thinking, let me give away these instead of the game. Because the game is the game. It'll be around for forever. Because they're gonna Nintendo's going to make a ton of copies. But these will not be around. So let me give away these instead. Um, so yeah, that's what I figured I'd do. Because these are these are super rare. And like I said, and I already bought people. I already bought like a bunch of people the game anyway. People who, I bought some people who really that I know can't afford it. I already bought them the game. Bought a, uh, bought, there was a nice young lady that I bought the game when I was at GameStop um, the other day. So I was like, you know what? You know, I've already done that before. Let's do something kind of different. Let's shake it up. Um, yeah, let's give away some of those pins. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, people are pricing. It's pretty crazy. People are pricing it up. So, so yeah, man. Uh, so, it'll be interesting to see um, what goes down. Um, all right. So, let's see here. I have three houses under my armpit right now. Why do you have it under your armpit? That's weird. Um, let's see here. The three houses is going to keep and be busy till Astral Chain release. Yeah, I'm going to be playing three houses probably through Astral Chain. I mean, I know I'll probably stop just for a bit because obviously Astral Chain, that's going to take my time and attention, but still a while till Astral Chain comes out. So we still got, um, we still got, uh, what's it called? We still got about a month till Astral Chain, a little bit over then. So plenty of time to get Fire Emblem done. I know I'm going to be playing Fire Emblem like crazy, um, today and tomorrow and the next day and probably all throughout man um i did my first uh let's plays uh last night um i launched we did a launch let's play of the game it was a lot of fun played it for four and a half hours had a ton of fun there's a lot of cool extra stuff to do a lot more busy busy stuff the game definitely flows a lot better i like the time in between missions a lot more because fire emblem didn't have all that beforehand fire emblem was really all it was about was you go to battle you come back and then, like, you talk to people, like, there. Like, you talk to them, like, at least the newer Fire Emblems. You talk to people in your base camp or whatever, and then you go back out to battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go to, like, you press a selection option, barracks. You go there, you talk to them. Something happens. There might be a cutscene or whatever, like, them talking. And then you go back into battle or you go to this point on the map. You know, like, Fire Emblem Awakening had a little bit of, like, a free map that you could move to. Um, so, it's interesting that how they you know maneuvered the fire emblem games in terms of like the the newer ones not going back to guiding or anything like that but like um the newer ones how they had like fire emblem awakening and how you progress the fire emblem fates how you did it in that game and now fire emblem three houses it's almost like a completely different thing uh combat's still just as solid the combat's just as solid and good as ever i love the combat in the game so so yeah man it was great yo what's up moo uh moo moo what's up man um <clears throat> All right, uh, let's switch it up for once. Yeah, the nice, nice pun there. <laughs> Andy, was that was an Andy? Was that an Andy mind level pun, dude? He, him, him and his puns. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, thank you, Marcus Cleaver. Yeah, man. He says, "Hey, this is uh, my first FE game, and your videos ahead of the release made uh, made the series much less daunting for a noob like me." Just wanted to swing by and say thanks. No problem, dude. Marcus, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. 
Uh, let's see here. I fell asleep watching last night's stream. Did you fall asleep? It was pretty late for you, man. So I don't blame you for falling asleep. It was it was really late in the East Coast. Heck, by the time that we started up, it was already what nine? It was already twelve midnight, you know, in the East. So, so yeah. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Um, I really like Fire Emblem Three Houses, but the small text is killing my eyes. Does it have small text? I don't know. I guess I'm sitting really close to my monitor, so I didn't even notice the text is too small. <clears throat> Let's see. Have you not played more since last night? No, I haven't. Um, I finished last night playing, played four and a half hours. Um, I went to sleep. I woke up. I ate breakfast. Um, I went to the gym, and then I came back. I ate. And then I streamed. So it's 2 o'clock where I'm at. So you go to the gym. I worked out for about an hour or so. Uh, come back. I ate. Um, I didn't get to sleep till late. So obviously I didn't wake up till like a little bit later than what I usually like to wake up at. I usually like to wake up like around maybe like 7 or, or 8. But I didn't wake up till like about 9, 30, 10. And then I had to eat. Then I had to, you know, let digest for a bit. And then I went to the gym like around 11 something. I think I got there like around 11 something. And then I worked out yeah, for about an hour, a little bit over. Came back, ate. And then now I'm streaming. <laughs> and now i'm streaming so i actually literally have not had any time to play since then but i'm gonna be playing today so i'm gonna play i'm gonna play today um yeah exactly it was it was super late so i just had i haven't had time like i said guys i don't really have a ton of time to just be playing games on like free time like if i'm gonna play it's probably gonna be during a stream after i've already gotten stuff ready but like mornings and everything i gotta get ready i gotta cheat my body right like i, I can't just sit there and like you know, I can't play video games till, you know, 2 a.m., then wake up in the morning and play video games again. Like, I don't like that. That life is that life is pretty much over for me, <laughs> like doing stuff like doing stuff like that. You got to you know, you got to get new like, new, you know, nutrients into your body. You got to exercise like you can't just sit on your butt and do nothing like I, I got to like I would love to just wake up and play Fire Emblem. You know, that's what I wanted to do in my heart. I was like, dude, I just wake up and play eat breakfast and then play Fire Emblem. But no, I got to like. I got to make sure that my mind is right, right? So if I'm just sitting here playing video games and doing content all day, my mind's going to get all jacked up. Um, I got to exercise. I got to I got to keep moving, you know what I'm saying? I got to keep it moving. I got to make sure that I'm I'm staying in a regiment. Like I can't I can't be undisciplined and not do the things that I got to do, you know? Otherwise, like I said, it's going to get me in a bad mental state. And that's how content creators, a lot of them, they get they get overweight, you know, they uh, they start going crazy, they start um, having mood swings during streams and things like that or just start losing confidence or losing uh, will because like they don't they don't exercise they don't keep a good flow all they're thinking about is content playing games content playing games content playing games you can't um, so yeah I wanted to man but I just I told myself I walked into my room I turned on my switch I was like no no OJ like eat breakfast eat something healthy you know what I'm saying like prepare your mind rest a bit I watched a little bit of I watched I I watched two episodes of Jojo so I can digest Went to the gym, came back, and now I'm streaming, then I'll play later. You know what I'm saying? Now I'll play. Let me get work done, and then I'll play, you know? So you got you to gotta be disciplined as a content creator if you want to keep it going. Otherwise, like I said, you're going to run into issues like a lot of content creators have. I mean, we've seen it where content creators just get, they just don't feel like doing anything anymore, you know? So, so yeah, man, I got to, man, I really, VC, man, I really wanted to wake up in the morning and just play, dude. I really did. Um... I, I already answered that question, THU. I said that I played four. I played four and a half hours, and that's it. I'm not gonna say particularly like where I am or anything like that. I don't want any spoilers, but I, I got to. I, I think I beat like one of the main story or two of the main story missions. I mean, and I just got. It doesn't really matter where I'm at. <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day, I played four and a half hours. Um, I'm, I think I'm right about to go to like the mission with Draw, like the bandits, the the bandits one. So I'm at the beginning of the game. You know, I'm I'm not super far or anything like that. Uh, um. No, no, you're all good, TH3. It's all good. Um, you, you didn't say anything wrong. Uh, let's see here. I just got uh, nutrients from a Chick-fil-A. Uh, yeah, man, Chick-fil-A is really good. But, um, you know, I've just been trying to cook myself. Uh, I've been trying to put on a little bit more, a little bit more, a uh, little bit more muscle mass. I'm trying to put on just a little bit more. I'm trying to tone the core, then put on a little bit more on my chest. So I've been eating a little bit more protein than I usually eat. So, so yeah, Chick-fil-A is good for that, man. Chicken sandwiches, good, good, good source of protein, lean too. So you're not gonna gain the gut while you're at it. 
Um, let's see. The text in the handheld mode is definitely small. I decided to dock it and read the tutorials. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played in handheld mode yet. I wanted to play last night. I wanted to take it off the dock and play in handheld mode before I went to bed. But I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I just watched the episode of JoJo and then I fell asleep. <laughs> I'm just really trying to get through JoJo, to be honest. Um... All right, let's see here. Yeah, um, I would be playing Fire Emblem all day, but I had to take a break uh, do real life, um, in real life stuff. Yeah, exactly, guys. Don't sit there and play Fire Emblem for like 15 hours a day. Like, don't don't jack your eyes up or don't jack up your mental state sitting there and and like being like a slob and playing Fire Emblem for like 10 hours and all that stuff. Like, like guys, go to the gym, exercise, go run, eat right. Like, don't don't do that. Okay, don't be me when I was young and I did all that because I jacked I jacked my eyes up and I jacked my brain up by playing video games for ridiculous amounts of time instead of doing like being healthy and doing other things. So trust me, trust me on this one. Before you before you have the, the age 30, like, you know, snap, do it, start doing stuff now. So by the time you get older, you're not you're not constantly wearing these glasses all the time because your eyes are are jacked from playing video games. By the way, guys, there's not enough research when it comes to high definition video games, you have to remember high definition is a um, is a new form of media. We don't know how people's eyes are going to get, you know, 30, 40, 50 years from now from based on looking at high definition TVs and liquid crystal displays and all that. There's no data, by the way, doctors and people can tell you that stuff. But until we actually see what happens to your eyes over the course of a 60, 70 or 50 year period, we don't know. So keep that in mind when you guys are sitting there and looking at stuff and playing in dark rooms and you guys are exposing your eyes to all this different lights and TVs and stuff like that. Keep that in mind. So um, just letting you guys know there is no real research they can tell you oh well it's safe and blah 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 and all that but we don't know until we get old <laughs> until people from the hd era get old and we see how our eyes are from looking at freaking tvs and hd and high quality for 50 years and then then we'll see what happens to our eyes you know so just just keep that in mind i just want to let you guys know about that get glasses don't sit there and pull the damn screen to your face and looking at it for 10 hours a day playing in handheld mode or anything like that you guys you know do other stuff too be healthy don't do anything stupid um let's see here uh, i'm surprised me to see when levels go plus before getting the next letter okay um <clears throat> I see. Have you ever drink protein shakes? Uh, yeah, I used to do protein shakes, but I don't really like protein shakes, to be honest. They're kind of disgusting. And even the ones that say that it tastes good, I don't really, I just don't really like doing them. So I'd rather just eat healthy, like eat, pro eat protein instead. Um, I see you want to be uh, John Jonathan now. Uh, no, not Jonathan. It'd be uh, Jotaro. If, if there was anyone, it'd definitely be Jotaro. But no, but I've been trying to get lean too, more in the thinner in the stomach. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like Gon, he's pretty thin, so I can get thin like Gon, then I can kind of get a little bit bigger here, like Jotaro. <laughs> I can be both. Uh, OJ sound like a mom now? Yeah, I sound like a mom. Okay, let me just tell you something right now. You guys will be saying, okay, you guys will be thanking me with these tips. Trust me. Trust me. Y'all be thanking me later with these tips. Uh, my OJ says, um, I was super blind, couldn't function without glasses. I got like... I got LASIK six years ago, and it was the best tax money I've ever spent. Yeah, but I say also, like, even though that you're, like, there's blue light, right? You can't see blue light, but blue light, like, jacks with your eyes, like, messes with your eyes. Like, when you look at, like, computer monitors or TVs and stuff like that. So, it's the reason why I wear these glasses the whole time. Like, it's because uh, blue light. Now, I look at computer monitors and TVs and stuff way more than you guys do because it's my work. But, I mean, if you have a desk job... You know, I highly suggest getting blue light blocking like computer glasses and stuff. I highly suggest wearing those a lot because you're going to save your eyes in the long run. You know, um, yeah, Jotaro is just as big as uh, Jonathan and just as big as uh, Joseph. Uh, they're, they're all they're all pretty much the same size. <clears throat> um, let's see here. We are pretty much the guinea pigs. We are the guinea pigs. <laughs> we are the guinea pigs. We are, dude. We we are totally the guinea pigs for the HD era, by the way. We we completely are. But then again, there's always been guinea pigs for stuff, right? For example, gasoline. You know? There used to not be gasoline. But then there was a time when gasoline was new, right? And fumes. And then now when you go now when you go to the gas station, what do you see? Oh, this can cause cancer. This can cause this, 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 this. Well, you know what? A lot of people died because nobody knew about the side effects 
of the the gasoline and the fumes and all that stuff so everybody's been getting throughout history of time everybody's been guinea pigs to stuff you know what i'm saying just stuff that's just going to happen with the with the natural progression of technology and with natural resources and with just stuff like that everyone's going to be fall victim to some type of uh of um you know guinea pig stuff so it's not it's not just us with technology P people died before us when it comes to certain things you know so it is what it is you're right <clears throat> looking rip oh thank you man i appreciate it. i'm really not that big though to be honest um I think the camera magnifies, but I'm really not, I'm not, I'm actually not that big. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Uh, really enjoying three houses so far. Just uh, cruising along on um, normal mode. Don't want to rush through the things. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's, I mean, there's no need to rush through it. You got a lot of different stuff that you can do. It's 80 hours plus of gameplay, plus all the different houses, lots of replay value, um, lots of stuff to do. So yeah, no need to rush. Just play, have fun, um, enjoy it. Excuse me. Enjoy. So, so yeah. Um, can you get the non-prescription of those kind of glasses? This isn't, a, I don't, I have 20-20 vision. This isn't prescription. Let's see here. Um, blue light is indeed more energetic and then other light potentially causing more damage. Exactly. Exactly. And blue light, like you don't see it. It's just like there. So I highly suggest to all you guys, don't let your eyes get jacked up. Trust me. The worst thing that can happen, well, one of the, not the worst thing. The worst thing that can happen to you is being, well, being burned alive that 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 sucks that's really painful um but the next one of the next normal things are not normal but other things that can happen to you without having weird circumstances is for your eyes to start jacking up especially when you get into your 30s 40s your eyes just start messing up you know so maybe even like 50s like you don't want that um <laughs> yeah burning alive is not is not fun i i don't think it, i don't wish that on anybody um <clears throat> I'm a little happier being a guinea pig for blue light than I would have been for uh, for commercial airplanes, metal flying tube. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's lots of other stuff that like, you know, like there was also like nicotine, right? Like smoking. There was people that were guinea pigs for that. Before it used to just be like, all right, this is just nothing. You know, tobacco. Oh, this is just something that you do, you know? Heck, I mean, even tobacco was even sometimes used as like healing for some people back in the day, like even way, way, way back. So people never saw it as anything that's like, oh, OK, you know, like this is going to be horrible. But obviously, then the, the results started coming in from people who smoked and what happens to your lungs and x-rays and technology. And, oh, that's bad for you now, you know. Um, but it, it's so funny, though, even like in the early 90s, I remember when I was a kid, you guys don't see it now today. But when I was a kid, they were allowed to tobacco companies were allowed to uh, advertise on TV and advertise even like on like children's networks and stuff like that, like uh, smoking, like billboards, all sorts of stuff. Uh, the camel, that was always something that I saw, like a camel smoking. Um, <laughs> they used mascots a lot. They tried, they really tried to hook kids early. It was, it was pretty pitiful. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, would you rather me be a subscriber on Twitch or on YouTube? You know what? To be honest, man, it's up to you. I'll be, uh, but I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, YouTube, I have a lot more stuff with YouTube. I have way more emotes. The emotes aren't blurry. Um, so, and I'm going to be streaming like game, like talk shows and stuff like this. So, like talking to you guys in Q and A. That's going to be on YouTube. I mean, if you like more of like the like my let's plays and stuff, then you can stay on Twitch, but I, I am going to be streaming talk shows and stuff on here. But like, let's say Super Smash Brothers and all that, if we play that, then it's going to be on Twitch. I'm not going to overload you guys, you know, like with stuff that you guys don't want to watch. And we're going to be moving that type of stuff like PE Ultimate. That's going to be like Twitch. So um, like tournaments and all that, that's going to be like Twitch. That's not going to be YouTube. And then maybe I'll bring them over afterwards, but maybe probably not. But if people want to watch it on YouTube, I'll, I might do that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, YouTube, uh, YouTube will probably be better for you, man. Cause you get way more emotes. They're not blurry. You know, I'm going to be streaming more here and it looks like you come out for this type of stuff. So I would say for anybody who's on Twitch, if you want to switch over, you can, but however, like I said, you can stay on Twitch too, because we are going to be streaming as well. It's up to you guys, what you guys want to do. Um, You said you took your special edition uh, back and, and got the standard edition. I don't believe the special edition is worth the, the extra money. Then why'd you buy it in the first place? They completely detailed the special edition uh, for Fire Emblem beforehand. Why would you Why would you buy the special edition even though you knew what was inside there and say that it's not worth the money? That doesn't make sense. Um, let's see here. Let's be honest. Um, everyone likes your content. That's why we're here. So just stay, just stay here. Look, man. 
I can't do everything on YouTube. Unfortunately, YouTube has weird policies with or weird algorithms with stuff. So I can't do everything on YouTube. I can't do all my streams and everything on YouTube. Otherwise, it overloads you guys and you guys miss normal videos. So I can't do all that. But what I can do is I can do talk shows and stuff like that here on YouTube. And then I can do gameplay on Twitch, more gameplay on Twitch. However, I'll be doing the Black Eagles playthrough on here. Golden, De Golden, Golden Deer on Twitch, I think. Um... I really like exploring the monastery, interacting with NPCs, and doing tasks. Yeah. Um, how could you say no to this still? Yeah, I don't I don't understand it. Like, you were able to see exactly what you got in the special edition beforehand. Um, it's $99. You get a steelbook. You get some pins. You get, which are, which are selling for a high price. So, I mean, you get pins. You get a steelbook. You get a calendar. And I think you get something else. I'm not really sure. Um, but either way, I, I see how, I don't see how that's not worth um, 99 but if you feel that it's not worth it that's fine no biggie biggie um you you pick up what you want if you think it wasn't worth it then you probably should have bought it in the first place it, <clears throat> um let's see here mm, i haven't gotten mine yet but the art book is nice yeah there we go it comes with the, an art book too uh, our, <laughs> our book is nice and Xenoblade 2 is definitely worth it. Well, for not for everybody, it's not going to be worth it. But I just don't understand like why you buy something if it's not worth it. Um, that's the only thing that I don't I don't understand. Um, I don't buy special editions that I don't think are worth it. If I see a special edition, they lay out what I'm going to get with it. I'm like, all right, it's worth it because there's this, 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 and this. But I don't understand why you buy it and say, oh, it's not worth it. And I'm like, after you get it, it's like <laughs> you already knew what was in it in the first place. Um... Super Dingus says, um, at what age did you start working out regularly? I think big. Uh, I think the big problem for people in their 30s or 40s is trying to start exercising and, um, is the big change in the routine. Yeah, I actually started exercising when I was a child. <laughs> like push-ups and sit-ups and stuff. Like as young as six, seven? My brother, because I had an older brother who's double the age at that time. So he was like, he's like six years older than me or seven years. So he was older, so he'd make me do... I mean, we'd play around too. We would do push-ups. We would do sit-ups. We would do stuff like that. So I started working out, like, yeah, at that at that age, not like consistently, like lifting weights or anything. I didn't I didn't start lifting weights till high school, like freshman year in high school. But like in terms of just like working out, yeah, like six seven years old. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Yo, what's up, Mensa? How's it going? Uh, what are you talking about here, Zelda Breath of the Wild? You said, do you keep do you keep game boxes? I have the boxes that systems come with the Switch, NES Classic, and Special Edition boxes. Yeah, I keep the, I keep the game boxes. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't. <clears throat> I keep the game boxes. Heck, I even keep my controller boxes. I still have my controller box for like my Pro Controller, my Xenoblade Chronicles Two controller. I still have the boxes for those. Heck, I keep boxes for everything. I keep my boxes for my systems. I don't know, but I'm weird like that. You know, I'm weird like that. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, like Super Dingus, like that's something that like with people working out. Yeah, it's tough once you get older, but you've got to do it, you know. But yeah, definitely the older you get is definitely tougher and tougher to work out, you know, for sure. Like without getting like getting into that routine. So start now when you're young, you know, so you don't have a hard time later. <clears throat> You still have your that. That's my that's my um old Wii U box. If you guys or that's not my old. That's the Wii U that I got in 2015. Check out this one here, guys. <laughs> this is my original Wii U 2012. I still have it out like as if it as if it just came out, baby. I keep all my boxes. I don't know. I just I just like boxes for some reason. I'm not sure why. I just I just do. But I, I always keep my boxes for most stuff. Now, if something's like, if I buy something, it's like, okay, who cares about the box, whatever. But here's my original deluxe set Wii U box. Digital deluxe promotion launch model Wii U with Nintendo Land. I still have this, man. I don't know how this crap got on here. I think my daughter, I think my daughter was eating something and she smeared it on there and I didn't notice because I have no idea how that would get out. Like, there's like some... Some like stuff <laughs> it looks like some type of old food or something like a donut or something my daughter put on there because like i remember she was super young when the wii u came out yeah any stains on here is from my daughter doing stuff there's dust so yeah there you go that's my old wii u box still got it still got it <clears throat> that one's actually from 2015 that was that was that one was just particularly just to play um 
what was it? Just to play uh, Xenoblade Chronicles in J the Japanese version. That's a Japanese Wii U. Um, so, so yeah. Let's see. That box is in great condition. Uh, um, that box is in great condition. When you was the last time you played your Wii U? Uh, I played my Wii U sometime this year because me and my daughter were playing some stuff. So yeah. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Dawson31? How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. Um, Model Z says, um, I was surprised to see 33 songs on the CD. That art book is thick. Oh, so wait a minute. Does the Fire Emblem special... It comes with the CD, too? Yeah, 33 tracks, thick art book, pins, steelbook, calendar. That's. I think that's worth it. I think that, that that's worth the price, isn't it? Um, VC says, I'm at 531 and need to repair my weapons, uh, but I've not accessed the blacksmith yet. How am I supposed to do the mission? Go buy, go buy new weapons. If you don't have enough weapons, then go buy new weapons. You can go to the store and buy new weapons. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> you said you love the, um, I say for the anime cutscenes, um, I love the 3D effects, the animations for the armor and movements. I normally hate 3D elements in anime. Um, happy to see they did it well. Okay, cool. Fire Emblem isn't really anime, but I guess the style a little bit, right? Um, the how it's drawn and everything like that. Joshua Tobar says the Fire Emblem Special Edition is definitely worth it. Yeah, somebody said that they, they bought the Special Edition, that they took it back and got the regular. They said it wasn't worth it, but I didn't understand why he bought it in the first place. That's why we even got on it in the first place. Am I ever going to hang up the posters? One of these days. One of these days. Started working out around 12 years old. Uh, started regularly lifting weights uh, a few months ago. At this point, I don't even think of exercising. I just do it. Yeah, once you get to that state of mind, super dingus, that's when things are good. If you get to the state of mind where you just you just get up and you do it, and that's kind of how I am. You know, like, there's times, like, I just work out when I feel like it. You know, it's not even like, oh, I'm going to stick to this, this. I just get up. Do I feel like working out today? Sure. I'm going to flip a coin and say most of the, like, four or five out of days out of the week, I'm going to feel like working out. So therefore, I'm gonna go. If I don't feel like if I don't feel like it, I won't go. But chances are that I'm not gonna f not feel like it more than two or three times a week. So therefore, I still get my normal workouts in. I still get at least three to four workouts every single week. Sometimes five if I feel like it. Heck, there's times where I feel like going every day. The other day, I worked out six days out of the week. I don't care. I just wake up and if I feel like it, I feel like it. I'll go. So <laughs> there hasn't been a time in the past few months where I have it like where I'm just like screw it. I'm not going to work out for like a whole like week or whatever i did get sick though earlier in the year and i wasn't able to work out for a week because i got sick um let's see here. even though i won't be getting fire on the three houses i'm rooting for it to be a spectacular success on the switch man you should re re reconsider um reconsider so salty went to two walmarts and called uh, near GameStops, and they were no copies for Fire Emblem today. Yeah, dude, it's a big seller. It's it's a big seller, man. I've been hearing a lot of people telling that they're having trouble finding copies, um, but you will be entered in. You will have some pins to give away, so you might not have a copy of Fire Emblem. Don't worry though, they're gonna restock next week. By the way, um, I got a I got a good good source. Where they're gonna restock next week. So for any any place that didn't have it, don't worry, they're gonna restock. Uh, you might be able to win some pins for Fire Emblem, so that's good. Um. OJ lifted weights uh, since he first started playing video games. Nah, man. I remember. I remember when I was really young. Uh, my one of my first memories was playing Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle with my brother back in the day. Um, I don't know what the hell. I, I remember. I just. I just remember not knowing what the hell I was doing. I just remember there was just this tall figure that would pick me up and put me down and shove a controller in my hand and I would play and I would die and then I'd just be like, uh, you know, I was so young. It was like when I was two. Those were my first memories. My mom taking me to church. My mom, like, putting food in my mouth, you know, um, stuff like that. My mom putting me down, my brother picking me up, putting me down, putting this control, NES controller in my hand. And we had these, like, stairs, and I used to crawl up these stairs and crawl down the stairs. I was, like, like I said, like, a two years old, maybe. You know, that's my earliest memories is playing video games with my brother, playing, and, like, my mom. Like, my mom, like, just, like, you know, doing, like, you know, stuff like that. And me just not being able to, like... I could talk, but not really. Um, so, yeah, that's what I remember. Lifting weights didn't come till I was in high school. Um, <clears throat> I got my Seasons of Warfare edition from GameStop in the mail today. Uh, I got the pins. Nice. Yeah, nice. Good stuff. First game I remember was boxing on the Wii Sports. And my older brother was not understanding motion controls, actually punching me. <laughs> Box on the Wii Sports? Oh, wow, you're super young, man, if that's the case, because... We boxing 13 years ago, 2006. Whew, has it been that long? 
Yikes, man. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Has it been 13 years since the Wii launched? Yeah, man. 10 years ago was 20, 2009, then minus three more years. Yeah, 13 years. 13 years of the Wii, dude. 13 year anniversary coming up this year. Uh, let's see here. My first game was Double Dash in 04. Man, you, God, you guys are so young. <laughs> Digital Age says, "I remember, uh, I remember playing Elite on the on the uh, BBC Micro." Okay. Um, yo, shout outs to Hyrule Witcher with the subscription. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome to Elite Ninja Village. Uh, yeah, man, I love my CDs and my uh, and my SEs, uh, but they usually only put a handful of songs in them. Um, this one even has the dubstep song. Okay, good stuff. What's up? Uh, we're, uh, are you on topics or just uh, just getting to the stream? Yeah, we're talking about Fire Emblem right now, but people are mentioning a bunch of other stuff too. But we're talking about Fire Emblem for the most part. Um, <clears throat> I swear to God, if anyone's uh, first game is actually GTA 4, I'm done. <laughs> hey, man, there's probably people out there where their first game was GTA 4, man. I actually know a bunch of friends. Not a bunch, but I know I, there was friends out there that I had that their first like modern game because like they played like okay they played like nes and stuff but like like they didn't play games for a long time and like they came back it was like gta 3 that was the game that brought them back so i'm pretty sure there are definitely if you're in your like let's say you're born in like in the late 90s you know gta might have been or if you're born in the mid 90s GTA could have been GTA 3 could have been your first game it could have just been like because that game was super popular everybody had it so that could have been a game that might have been your first game I, I'm I'm willing to bet that there are people out there that GTA 3 was their first game which is sad and the parents should be ashamed of themselves but hey it is what it is um you're addicted to Hunter Hunter you're addicted to Hunter Hunter and the and the song dude the theme song's dope and it keeps that same theme song throughout the whole time the, the ending themes aren't as good, in my opinion, as the original, or as the beginning theme song. But ending number two, when, once you get to the Spider's arc, ending number two, that's the song that I played for you. That song's freaking dope. But yeah, Hunter Hunter is freaking awesome, man. It's it, it, To me, man, it's it's definitely up there, one of the greatest animes of all time. Um, Harley Van Winkle says, uh, my first game was Super Mario Kart, but that was just because my parents told uh, told me we couldn't have a GameCube because I had, the, uh, I had a, a perfectly good Super Nintendo. All right, everybody's mentioning their first games now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the theme song's awesome. Uh, Party Man, if you don't mind me asking, what episode are you on, if you don't mind me asking? Or if you remember. Well, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine, too. All right, shall we move to the next topic here, guys? We're kind of getting off topic just a little bit. Classic Doom titles. S tier, definitely S tier anime. Classic Doom titles are on the Nintendo Switch. They're here. Classic Doom is here. So, Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3 are now available for the PS4, Xbox One, and uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, Doom and Doom 2 for smartphones. Okay, so no Doom 3 for smartphones. So, uh, publisher Bethesda Softworks and developer id Software has released Doom 93, Doom Classic, and Doom 3 digitally for the PlayStation 4, Switch, Xbox One, and Doom and Doom 2 for iOS and Android devices. Doom and Doom 2 cost $4.99 each, while Doom 3 cost $9.99. So, if you want to pick up Doom games, here they are. Here's a trailer for the Doom games, guys. Let's, let's watch it. This is Doom 3. Uh, let's restart that better volume no this is the this is the new doom right this one's the new doom so then they're showing you this is essentially like a retelling of the original doom right the new 2016 this is the original doom doom 2 doom 3 
on new platforms. Hellish enemies. Big bleeping guns. Split screen PvP. Times change. Doom is eternal. Available now. Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 3. Doom 1 and 2 of Android iOS. Join the club. Slayers Club. There you go, man. Any guys excited for Doom? Any guys pick up Doom already? <laughs> Doom is trash. <laughs> oh, man. You're too... You, dude, come on. That's not... Doom isn't bad. Doom isn't bad. Doom isn't too bad, is it? I think it's all right. I don't like it. I'm, I, I've tried to like Doom, though, but I'm, I'm, I'm not really, like, a huge fan of Doom. Episode 26. Okay, yeah. Oh, you're getting into the... You're getting into the good stuff. You're getting into the good stuff. Episode 26. Oof, yeah. So, that's all I'll say is that you're getting into the... My favorite arc is coming up for the whole anime. So, yeah. Good stuff, man. Uh, ban who? You feel old, Super Mario World's first game? Uh, yo, what's up, Five Nights and Freddy's? My uh, my boy, I didn't see you there. What's up, man? Oh, you said ban Ace Devious for saying Doom is trash. What, how do you guys honestly feel about Doom? Tell me your honest feelings about Doom. You know, a lot of people just say Doom is cool because other people say Doom is cool, but they don't even really like the game. I mean, like, I, I'll say that Doom games, I guess, are well made, but I just, I, I just, I don't find them, like, super, like, it's just not something that I'm going to like super, like, a lot. It's just... I don't know, like I said the first the first person it's too fast is it's like it just makes my head spin it hurts my head like especially like when I play Doom on any system it hurts it hurts my head even the PS4 Xbox One hurts my head when I play Doom on the Switch it just hurts it just Doom the resolution plus the kind of blurry but then it just it doesn't matter what I play on though it's just like it, it makes me dizzy so I just I think like I said I think I'm done with first person shooters forever I'm not sure if I'll ever go back to first person shooters. I'm doing good, Five Nights. How you doing, man? Shout outs. It's good to see you here. Jetty says, uh, looks I <laughs> Looks I Uh, not into first person shooters. Yeah, me, me neither, man. Uh, play it at four, play it at 144 frames per second casuals. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you make sure that it's not, uh, it's, it's not, uh, it, it doesn't make your, your head spin or anything. You need to play it at faster frame rate. You can't play it on the trash switch. 30 frames per second or something? No, can't do that. Uh, Doom is better than Wolfenstein, dude. They, <laughs> oh my gosh, Wolfenstein two, Wolfenstein two. I hate that game. <laughs> Doom is definitely better than Wolfen. I hate Wolfenstein two. I absolutely hate that game. I don't. I don't hate anything. I don't really hate a lot of stuff, man. But damn that game. I can't stand it. Can't stand the story. Can't stand the game. Can't stand. Can't st just. Uh really hate that game i dislike it a lot <laughs> um let's see here shadow king says um i'm indifferent about doom i may uh, get the ports later but i have too many games as it is yeah i have way too many games like i'm not even going to try to sit here and try to like you know cash in on on a video on doom oh look first doom footage i don't give a damn dude <laughs> I can buy it and get some views, but I don't give a damn, man. I'd rather just, I'd rather save my, to be honest, I'd rather save my eyes or whatever, or just play Fire Emblem or just do something else, even if it's going to get me the views. Who cares, man? I, I just, I can't, I can't do Doom anymore. I'm done. Um, oh, Jesus, PTSD. Man, I hate, I remember when I streamed it, I was just like, never streaming this game, never playing this game ever again never streaming never playing just oh god dude i just oh gosh <laughs> uh, let's see you guys are missing out. i ain't missing out on nothing i've already played the doom games i've actually the doom classics and doom 2 i used to play those back in the day my dad had them on the pc um so we i played those i didn't necessarily love them we had wolfenstein too um, but I didn't love them, but they were just something different. I mean, I was always scared, though, you know, of the games. Like, I, I sucked, and I scared of them. I was scared. Uh, Doom 3, my buddy had on the Xbox. My buddy had Doom 3, and I played it, and I was just like, I was like, 
I was like, Wind Waker is better. <laughs> I was like, Resident Evil. Oh, I always said Resident Evil Four is better. Like whenever they talk about Doom, I'm like, Resident Evil Four is better. This game is way better. Like this is just this is just a, a dizzy dizzy version of Resident Evil Four. Like why play Doom Three? When Resident Evil 4 is like a million times better. You know, that's what I used to say back when Doom 3 came out. So, so yeah, man. Uh, Doom 2016 is my favorite first-person shooter. Uh, but that isn't saying a lot because I don't like many first-person Doom is my favorite first-person shooter of all time. I've only played two first-person shooters, though. <laughs> uh, my favorite first-person shooter is probably like Perfect Dark or GoldenEye. Like, those two. But those the frame rates in those games are so slow, there's no way you can get dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> the frame rate is so slow in that game and you move so slow compared to newer games there's no possible way you can get dizzy in those games it's, the frame rate is too slow the controls are too slow um let's see oh you didn't get a notification well that's youtube for you um Let's see here. Resident Evil, uh, you mixed up Resident Evil 4 and Doom 3. I did not mix up Resident Evil 4 and Doom 3. Resident Evil 4 is definitely a better game than Doom 3. It's definitely a better game than Doom 3. Resident Evil 4, I will say, that's just, Resident Evil 4 is positively a better game than Doom 3. Uh, Pikmin Ranger, what's up, man? Thank you so much. Welcome to Leap Ninja Village on YouTube. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that. Uh, have you ever played Metroid Prime? Of course I've played Metroid Prime, Isaac. Bruh. <laughs> if, you, if you're if you a Nintendo fan over the age of like, tw like 25, if you haven't played Metroid Prime, you're not a Nintendo fan. You're no longer a Nintendo fan if you ain't played Metroid Prime. <laughs> uh, KC Skills with the dollar donation through Super Chat. Thank you so much. First donation of the stream. Appreciate the dollar through Super Chat. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm debating whether it should get Splatoon 2. Bro, if you're still debating whether they get Splatoon 2, you ain't getting it, bro. The game is over two years old. Let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> you said save those $20 for Doom games and add it up to the Fire Emblem Expansion Pass funds. Well, I already bought the Fire Emblem. I bought the digital version of... Uh-oh. I answered Arash. I already... Let me answer Arash's question. Hey, OJ, did you buy the game digital or physical? It's been revealed. The Fire Emblem copy that I was playing last night was a digital copy of the game with the expansion pass tied right into it. You got me. I, 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 let, I, let, the, I let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> it was a digital copy of the game with the expansion pass. I bought I bought the bundle from it. It was like $80, so $84 or something like that. So. Yo, Five Nights and Freddy's with the Toby almost buster let's go five nights and freddy's swooping in like konohamaru with the jutsu and he says just got paid so i thought i'd show a little love thanks for the content thank you so much i appreciate you guys you know you guys know i busted for the content on here so thank you man for showing that appreciation i do i do do appreciate that man yo you guys give some love some respect some emotes some Toby Blasters for my man Five Nights at Freddy's with that $10 donation. Becoming the top stream ninja because he used Streamlabs and he got the cool little emote or he got the cool little animation. He unlocked the Jutsu. So I appreciate that, man. And you are the top stream ninja for the day. Thank you. Appreciate that. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Why are you guys saying boo? Why is it why is everybody hating on me? Why why are you guys saying boo? Give me one reason why you guys are upset right now because I, I got the digital version of the game. You guys are, all you guys that are saying boo all came out to my live stream and watched me play the game because I was able to download it right away and have it on there, ready to go. What, what is the problem with the digital version of the game? Oh, you guys are booing Metro, oh, you guys are booing Jumpmon for not playing Metro, Metro Prime. Jumpmon isn't over the age of 25 though. Digital is a superior format. Digital is not a superior format. You know, let me tell you guys something right real quick. But thank you for the two dollar donation, um, Mr. Pete. I like this format. This format is a great format. This is a great format to just I don't know if this will ever be opened. 
This just might stay closed forever. This is the great format. To me, this will... Mm, the smell. This will always be the greatest format right here. Is this just stuff like this? This will always be the greatest format. I wonder how many of these I have coming in. <laughs> I think I lost track of, of 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 those that I bought. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> is my camera reversed? It is it reversed? It might be. Let me take a look. Mmm, it looks like, there we go, it looks like, it looks like it was reversed for a second. There you go, back to normal. I don't know why my camera was reversed, but we're normal boys now. My, I don't know why it was reversed. It was just weird, settings just messed up. <clears throat> but now I think we're back to normal, right? What's up, Star Wolf? If you guys, for everyone who misses me, that are saying welcome back, you guys all welcome me back. You guys all sponsor on the page right now. You guys all member up. Let's get our memberships back up to where it was then. You guys all miss me here. All member up. Let's go. Let's go, Elite Ninja. <laughs> uh, let's see here. You have to open that Seasons of Warfare edition to get the CD. I don't want the CD. No, I got I got another season. I got this Seasons of Warfare edition. Okay, shout out to Nintendo. Nintendo sent me, Nintendo sent me this one. Okay. So shout out to Nintendo. They sent me this one. Uh, this is a special one. This is the first time that they've ever sent me a special edition. So I'm going to cherish it and I'm going to keep it, you know, closed up. So they did send me that. And then I'm going to unbox the one that I'm getting tomorrow uh, from Best Buy. But Nintendo did send me that one. And they actually sent me some other. They sent me a nice little uh, thing and they sent me a uh, they sent me a golden deer pin because they watched my videos and they, they knew that I liked Claude the most. So they said they sent a the little like. Type out saying, oh, you know, you're the chosen gold, like, you know, to lead the golden deer. And they sent me an exclusive, like, not an exclusive, but they sent me another pin with that on the message. Um, so that was nice of them. Um, and then I got my pins. So I wanted to wait till I got that. Uh, I got my pins that I'm going to be giving away to you guys, too. Yeah, unboxing video tomorrow. Unboxing video tomorrow. <clears throat> Reverse essence. Um, all right, take it easy, bro, darkness. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Um, let's see here. Yeah, the box is clean. Um, here's the reason why I'm not doing a Fire Emblem giveaway. Here's the reason why. There's no point. Everybody's already bought the game. These pins are going to be worth more than Fire Emblem the game itself. Guarantee you they're going to be worth more. So why give away the game when you can give away the pins? That's the thing. That's the, Why give away the game when you can give away the pins? The pins are like... And that's what even like what Nintendo said to do. They're like, they sent me there like, hey, give these pins away, you know? Um, yo, we got a Toby Blaster. We got another fear tiger. What? Hey, Toby Blaster. Let's go. Fairy tiger with the $20 and says play blue sky and battle fire emblem three houses. I'll definitely do that. Thank you, fairy tiger for the $20 Toby Blaster. You are now the top stream ninja. Thank you so much for the $20. Everybody give some love, respect, emotes to fairy tiger. With the twenty dollar donation, thank you so much, Fairy Tiger. I appreciate that. But yeah, VC, uh, the pins. Those things are they're getting scalped for pretty good prices. So I figured that why give away something that's abundant in quantity when I can give away something that is more rare, and that are these pins right here. So that's the reason why I'm not doing a Fire Emblem giveaway because a lot of you guys were gonna go buy the game anyway. Um, it was like 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 my Smash giveaway like that I was doing. It was like everybody already had the game, but I still give away a bunch of copies, but everybody already had it. Or everybody already had the game, so but there was nothing more rare to give away. But these pins are rare; they're not everywhere. People are gonna, they're, you're gonna have trouble. You're not gonna see these around. So I decided to give give away the, like instead of giving away two copies of the game, give away these instead. You know, those are more valuable in my opinion and better for the elite ninja out there. Better for the ninjas out there. So, uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get Fairy Tiger's name. Yeah. um let's see here real talk i'm considering selling mine to make back the money i spent on the game the pins well i would say just wait for just a little bit wait for just a little bit but yeah those pins 10 of these 10 of these at my GameStop, and i picked up two i picked up 20 percent of the pins at the location that i was at because i picked up two <laughs> 
So that's why I decided to do that instead because everybody already bought the game. So I mean, if I did a giveaway, so you, so here's the thing. If I do a giveaway, VC, you win the giveaway, you're just going to sell the game, right? Right, because you already have the game. So you're just going to sell the game. You know, you're, you're just going to sell it. So, or you're just going to give it away to somebody. So why give away the game when everybody's already been buying the game, but not everybody has these. Most people don't have these. So that's the reason why I decided to do that instead. And like I said, Nintendo even said to do that. Like when they gave away, they're like, hey, there's pins in there. Give the pins away to your users because those are the more rare things. Even Nintendo knows, yeah, these pins ain't going to be around. They told me to keep one of the pins and then they told me to give away pins, you know? Uh, so, so yeah, I'm giving away pins. <clears throat> um let's see here uh i you said hey oj i'm enjoying fire emblem this stuff is hard how do you like it so far i hate the game katana riku it's, it's trash it's, it's it's a really bad game it's a really bad game um, um i do want a pin uh a pin couldn't get one exactly exactly you guys can all be able to get fire emblem like at some point even if you can't afford it now you'll be able to save up and buy fire emblem but i guarantee a lot of you guys won't be able to get your hands on these pins so that's why i felt that's why i decided that the pins would be better to give away um also asked for a song, my dude. Oh, did you? Um, shout outs. What was your song? What, what was your song that you asked for? Um, I didn't see. I didn't see the song that you asked for. You didn't put it in the message. So okay. Um, I'll play Fairy Tiger's song right after your song. Okay. Um, Five Nights. So um, tell me, tell me the song that you want. You said, no, I hate the game as well. Not worth $6. I mean, but like if, it, I mean, Katana Riku, everybody that's been here, I've literally been shilling this game for like a month. And then people are like, well, hey, LJ, what, what you think about it? I mean, it's not like you haven't seen 5,000 Fire Emblem videos, me posting everything about Fire Emblem. I mean, at this point, if I said, I mean, like, how do you think I like the game? It's trash. Absolute trash. The game sucks. <laughs> Uh, revoke THC's modship. He killed. He killed a waifu. Restart. Restart. Restart the mission. What the hell? Turtles in time. All right. All right. And thank you, Fairy Tiger. We'll get your. We'll get your song up next. Turtles in time. Train level. He said. I'm just, I mean, I'm just asking uh, to be nice. I, hey, man. I I gotta give. I gotta give a response like that. Considering how much I've been shilling the game, <laughs> I got to give a troll response in order to make things fun. I can't give a standard, oh, yeah, I like the game. That's not that's not fun at all. That, that's not fun. That's that's not entertaining. Um, that's not entertaining. Uh, tutorial? Uh, yeah, I can do like some uh, like some tips videos. Absolutely. Absolutely. Although there is a pretty good tutorial at the beginning of the game. I mean, they the, the tutorial lasts for a while, you know. But I mean, I know it's all, probably a lot to absorb in if you've never played a Fire Emblem game before. <clears throat> just restart the just restart, dude. I don't know why you're sitting here going crazy. T just restart the just restart. <laughs> What what is the problem here? I don't understand it. Like you can just restart the chapter. Um I don't know what you're talking about, Super Dingus. You gonna pick up Doom 1 and 2? Nice. Why did you let the mission be open? Why did you complete the mission? You can revert back to an old save file if you want, but I don't understand. Like, if somebody died that you liked, why did you complete the mission? Just, just end the game right there and restart. I don't get it. Why would you complete the mission? If she died and she's not coming back, why would you complete the mission? Just restart. Damn, Fire Emblem noobs. Well, I, well anyway, she's... Okay, if you want to just continue playing... The, well, she's dead. There you go. She's dead now. You got to move on. You gotta move. It's like real war. You gotta just move on, man. Gotta move on. Um, blue sky. 
and battle. Or you can just restart the whole game. You're probably not far into it. You can just restart the whole thing. Yeah, just start over from like you're you're barely, you're at the beginning. You're not too far into it. All right, here's Fairy Tigers. Shout out to Jump Mom with the one dollar shimmy, and he says Jumpy is playing casual. Also, play River. Is it Twigs from Super Paper Mario? Um, if not, go with Persona Five Alley Cat. Okay, I want to go. I kind of want to go with Persona Five Alley Cat because it's been a while since I've heard that song. Um, Y'all giving y'all giving TH3 some L's? Yeah, TH3, I think it's time to restart the whole game, bro. Restart the whole game. I'm a noob and I forgot. Yeah, you're a noob. It's okay. Restart just restart the whole thing. You're you're okay. You're 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 barely at the beginning, so just restart. OJ, great video this morning of Astral Chain. Yo, I am thinking about getting the game. Get, uh, nice, nice. Yeah, Astral Chain, it's gonna be it's gonna be super fun. Oh, Jesus Christ, the L's are coming through. I mean Dimitri almost died at the beginning of the game for me, so. Because I underestimated his combat abilities. And he got hit by one of the. He only dodged, you know? <clears throat> he only dodged. He only dodged. And that's the only reason why he didn't die, because he dodged one at the very end. So it was great. But it's on hard though, so they go. They really go after whoever's in a vulnerable state in that game. Like, oh my gosh! Like on hard mode, they'll attack. They'll attack. Uh, I would say people like Dimitri. I think people are are getting to like him more. There's definitely some cool stuff that that happens. I think Dimitri. Obviously, I don't think he was he was probably like the least voted house, but there's people that like him, though. I, I'm getting to know him a little bit better here. Um, yeah, bro, I'm playing hard ca hard casual. Hard casual? Uh, yeah, that's good for Fire Emblem. Like, if, so, if you're somebody that wants a challenge, but you're... Uh, I mean, although... Hard casual almost, like, takes away some of the difficulty because you know that... Like, you're playing on hard, okay... But you know that you can take more risks because your characters will come back. You're gonna naturally play a little bit more aggressive than defensive on hard casual, and that's just that's just instinctively because you know in the back of your mind that they're coming back. If your mind tells you that they're not coming back on hard, you're gonna play a lot. You're gonna play a little bit more defensively. Whereas when I know that I can play like on casual, like I know that I can make certain moves. I'll be like, all right, if they die, oh well, you know, like I'll still beat them and I'll still win this map, you know. So that's the only difference between uh, what I would say hard casual and hard classic is that hard classic you're gonna play a lot more defensive hard casual you're gonna still play defensive and you're still gonna do what you got to do to win but it's not gonna be you're gonna be like oh well they'll come back if they die you know so that's the only thing you'll take more risks whereas hard uh hard classic you won't you won't take as many which and this is coming from somebody who's played you know hard classic a lot on the recent ones hard classic and hard casual i'm playing normal classic normal classic for noobs if you want to get that's if you want to get the actual experience of Fire Emblem, but you're new to the franchise, then that would be the one that you'd play. But hard, cla hard casual, like I said, if you're if you just want a little bit more of a challenge, I guess, but you're still new, that's fine to play as well. You know, that's also fine to play as well. <clears throat> Arash, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I'm pretty sure you can answer that question yourself. I don't know why you're asking me. Let's see here. That's why I chose uh, cl chose classic. Okay. Dimitri's hair is got here. <laughs> um, lunatic mode is gonna be fun when it when that is out. I, um, I don't know if that's gonna be fun, but it's gonna be out at some point. At some point, it will be, there will be lunatic mode. I think he said shortly after launch, so I don't know how much longer it's going to take for it, but yeah, it's coming. It's a casual, man, I can't risk it. You guys can always restart the chapter, that's the thing. Casual mode is if you don't want to waste your time, because if somebody dies during the match, like, you can turn back, like, with the, with the little, like, divine pulse or whatever, you can turn back the time. 
So if somebody dies, you can get out of it, or you can simply just restart the chapter. So basically, casual mode is if you just don't want to restart over and over. Like if you don't want to restart, you know, you don't have time for that, or you just don't feel like restarting, that's what casual mode is there for. It's, it's there for that. Um, Alasius, Alasius with the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Fire Nation. Thank you. OJ, uh, you heard about uh, Byleth Mail VA got changed in Fire Emblem Mobile Game. Yeah, I did hear about that, but I don't really have anything to add to it, so I don't, I don't really care. Also, playing classic teaches you how to play more tactical than casual would. Yeah, it teaches you how to play more defensive. It teaches you that basically it's not always okay in Fire Emblem to go and attack. When you play casual mode, you're probably gonna go and you're gonna hit people every single time. You're just gonna go and you're gonna want to hit them. When you play when you play classic, you're gonna stand back. You're gonna look for terrain. You're going to do that more often. You're gonna not get into their zones. You're not gonna lure them out as much. You're gonna be far more tactical. You're gonna be far more. I mean, I think that's the reason why that there's not a uh, like if you ever played like Fire Emblem uh, uh, like PVP. Fire Emblem PVP. I don't think Fire Emblem PVP is very good. Because people play so defensive and tactical, it's like, it's so boring. It's like everybody just slips right into the range. They put one person there to draw you into there, put one person there, then you kill each other. It's it's so, it's it's boring. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like I don't like PvP and Fire Emblem just because people just play like freaking, you know, Metal Gear Solid. Like, you, they, they, they don't want to move. They barely go into the zones. Like, they, they just don't, like, it's not very fun. So that's the reason why I don't really like the PvP. But that's how you have to kind of play. Like, if you guys watch me play... You know, I have to play really tactical and defensive, you know, and not go and attack as much um, because it's people can just die very quickly. And another thing is that you got to use your, you're going to use your items a lot more, too. That's another thing that I noticed. You got to use your um, your uh, your vulnerabilities and heal um, a lot between hand. So. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about, Jarmo. Wait, are you talking about a game? What are you talking about? This is one of the best pieces of advice I need before playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. Would you rewind the time if you could make a mistake and someone dies, or is it better to live with the consequences? That's that's a, that's your own personal thought process. If I were you, I'd rewind the time because there's no penalty for rewinding the time. You know, like it's not like oh, you rewinded the time, you get less points or something like that. It's like no, you can just rewind the time. So. Um, so yeah, there's no. Um, I would rewind it, um, but that's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do on that one. Alley cat. Thank you, Fairy Tiger, for the Toby Blaster. Appreciate that, man. Top top weekly ninja as well this week. So Fairy Tiger, shout out to my boy, um, and thank you. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the music. Next we have Alley Cat from Jumpmon. It's kind of low. Loki says, um, I would choose casual um, I just in case I lost a character I didn't want to. Plus, I'm new to the Fire Emblem, so there's that. That's true, but like I said before, if you lose a character, you can always restart the chapter. Like, restarting the chapter is a legitimate option, you know? So it's not like people who play on Classic, oh, they're, they're absolutely screwed no matter what if somebody dies. No, they're not. They just have to restart. So it's, it's just a matter of, it's just timing. It's just how much time do you want to spend or not? So that's what I'm saying. Like when people say, "Oh, they're dead forever," there's no, no they just going to restart the chapter. Like <laughs> they just have to restart. You don't have to restart the chapter. They do if you want to keep that character. You know. So basically, it's just a, it's a time thing more so than anything. You know. So that's really what it comes down to. Uh, you're gonna wait a couple weeks. Um, but because of you, I was able to snag the pin set. Oh, no problem, Robert. Shout outs, dude. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I just don't think I don't think PvP is very fun in Fire Emblem. Uh, I don't care what they add. To be honest, I'd rather them do co-op instead. I was talking about my uh, Fire Emblem pre-order. Uh, wrote three, uh, throw three messages because the limit is 200. Bruh, you gotta, you gotta start condensing things a little bit. I can't read all three. 
uh, Michael O'Brien says, well, if you rewind, does it start to feel like there's no high stakes um, in the battles? It's not infinite number of rewinds, though. That's the thing. Uh, do you think the... I, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, PS5 and all that, man? I, I don't know, dude. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I think we should move to random Q&A, I guess, right? What other things that we have on topic? Um, nope, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into random Q&A. If you have questions... I will try my best to answer them. All right. All right, peeps. Try my best. There's an English trailer for Astral Chain on the UK, uh, UK Nintendo YouTube channel. Yeah, I already know. Oh, um... Do you think when the PS5 and the next new Xbox come out, GameStop will be out of business by then? Oh, is that what you asked me? No. Um, Michael O'Brien says, oh, okay, I'm picking this up tomorrow. I think the game is going to do very well. I can see 5 million sales at least. Yeah, 5 million would probably be where it could reach that. Maybe more, maybe less. Maybe less. Favorite character who was not leader in Fire Emblem Three Houses? Uh, Petra. Um, Jermo says, I pre-ordered the limited edition, but the reseller emailed me today that they might not get it in stock after all. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sorry about that, man. Um, yeah, sorry sorry to hear about that. That sucks. Loki says, okay, uh, I'm really I'm really new here. I ordered the game from GameStop on Thursday, so fingers crossed if it gets sent. If I get sent a pin set, uh, what is limitations of rewind feature? You don't mind me asking. You can't you can't spam it. There's only a certain number of times that you can you can use it in, on a map. So like you can't like make like five thousand bad choices and continuously rewind the time on that. Um, Arash says um, I am going to start hitting the gym. Uh, what workouts should I do? Well, that's I mean I don't I don't know your body or anything, so that's something that you know that you'd have to consult with you know uh, you know a trainer or somebody in your area. I don't know your history and all that, so that'd be it'd be it would be. Um, it would be irresponsible of me to give you workouts to do when I don't know your capabilities yet. Uh, but a good place, I mean, I run on the treadmill, so I like to run on the treadmill. I'm going to, um, so yeah, uh, I thought that was, sorry, I thought that was somebody else. That was you, Arash, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm not going to give you something to do, then you kill yourself in the gym because OJ said to go bench press 200 pounds or something like that. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't want to get you, uh, you know. Get you hurt. Man, bike riding today? Nice, man. Sounds good. Um, any other... Uh, we're going to run random Q&A, guys. So if you guys have questions, I'll be more than happy to answer questions for you guys. Favorite three. That's not. I think I already, I already answered that. BC. I said Petra. Was the giveaway ready? No, the giveaway is tomorrow for the pins, and uh, it's not going to be. We're not going to be giving them away tomorrow. We're going to be announcing the giveaway officially and the rules and the details with the giveaway. But I think. Are you in Europe, Jarmo? So Europeans. The only thing would be like shipping. That's going to be something. If you do win, that's going to be something that you'd have to take care of because shipping to Europe from where I'm at is just. It's not, it's not easy. It's not a good thing either. And stuff can get lost quite easily. And it's super expensive. So, um, so yeah. Because I have pins. Rare pins to give away. Are you starting Astral Chain with male character or female character? I mean, probably the female character. Probably the female character. I'm going to customize her, though. I'm going to have my dark-skinned sister waifu with crazy with the crazy outfit because you can wear different outfits in that game. So I'm going to do something. It's going to be cool. But I'll probably play through the game again as the male. I'll probably do both. But I'll probably start with the female first.
What's your favorite uh, Legion um, in Astral Chain? Oh, good question. Uh, my favorite Legion in Astral Chain so far is probably the Sword Legion or the, the Beast Legion. I think those two are really cool. Um, the Legion just in general is really dope. Like I like, it's kind of like has that wonderful 101 um, type of aspect to it. So, so yeah, man, it's, it's, it's good stuff. Still blows my mind that Fire Emblem Three Houses is fully, uh, fully voice acted. Well, Fire Emblem Awakening and Fire Emblem uh, Fates, those weren't fully voice acted, but those had a, those had a ton of voice acting. So it, it made sense to me. It is getting late in the UK, so peace. I'll try to catch tomorrow's stream. All right, take it easy, man. Yeah, what is it in the UK? Already 8, 9, 10, already, yeah, 11. Almost, almost uh, 12 a.m. Are you expecting any kind of Shin Megami Tensei 5 uh, info anytime this year? Yeah, I am, actually. I'm, I'm expecting maybe around Tokyo Game Show, which is September, which is coming up pretty soon here. Um, if not, then like a Nintendo Direct or something like that later in the year. Full voice acting is tough, though. It's not a it's not a simple or easy thing to do. It's a lot of voice work, a lot of translating, a lot of stuff, man. It takes a long time. But I get why people like it. I'm just not. I mean, I I skip through a lot of the voice acting, you know, <laughs> like because I'm not trying to sit there and like read the whole like or not. I'm, I'm not trying to sit there and listen to them the whole time. Like I'd rather just read it real quick and skip, you know. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Harley says, um, have you been keeping up with the character trailers for PS5, uh, PS5R? The new content looks hype. I haven't really been keeping up with the new, uh, the new tra character trailers because it's not coming out this year. And I've already played the game, so. <clears throat> When it comes out next year, when they give us an actual release date, then I'll just buy it. But it's it's a game that's already been released, so it's the new content looks cool. But at the same time, it's just like eh, I'm, there's games now that are out. I'm, there's games now that I'm covering that are out that I'm excited for. Like Fire Emblem's out now. I don't gotta wait till next year and watch trailers for the next two years. You know what I'm saying? Like I already had to do that with Fire Emblem. I, I want to focus on games that are out now. Like Astral Chain is coming out now at this point. It'll be out next month. You know, so I'm focusing on kind of games that are that are here now. You know. Keep the questions coming, though, guys. Uh, but, like, I just don't like the... I think the biggest thing with with Astro... Or with Fire Emblem... Or not Fire Emblem. With uh, Persona 5 is I just want to... I just, like, when the game comes out, I'll be all over it. I'll be covering it. Like, when we... Not trailers of, like, stuff like that. Like, once we get the game, I'll, I'll you know, I'll be covering it. But I already... You know, I put already over, you know, 80-something hours into that, so beat the game but yeah I'll, I'll definitely be playing persona 5 uh, or definitely be playing it again what is your favorite character in fire room three houses and astral chain <laughs> astral chain's not out yet i don't know who my favorite character is uh fire room three like they really they barely revealed any of the characters in astral chain like we don't really know much about the how am i who's what um uh, but fire room three houses I, um i've already mentioned you know um like claude is pretty cool but we still i still need to play more and see who it is but petra seems like a pretty cool character in fire room three houses so far um, is it where the Atlas always makes definitive editions of Persona game to make you buy it again? Is it weird? No, because lots of a lot of people make definitive editions or game of the year editions. That's not a weird concept at all. Like happens all the time every year. There's game of the year editions or re-releases of games with more content or whatever. Uh, Stephanie Glass with the subscription, appreciate that. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village on YouTube. Thank you so much for the subscription. Excuse me. Uh, yes, I've already seen the Astral Chain trailer in the UK. Yes.
Yeah, the speech logs is good. There's times where I, the, the speech logs for Fire Emblem. There's times Jetty where I had to I had to use them. It's like, oh man, I, I pressed A too quick. Let me see. Let me remember what they said. Where mode is better for someone who going to play Fire Emblem Third for the first time? Um, I think you're talking about the initial like gameplay mode. I'd probably say for the first time, just normal, normal casual. You meant which mode is better for someone who is going to play Fire Emblem Three Houses for the first time. I think that's what you meant to say. Yeah, just uh, normal casual is fine. Kind of sad there isn't any Shin Megami Tensei representation in Smash. Maybe there will be. But, yeah, technically speaking... Uh, Persona is Shin Megami Tensei, technically speaking. But, you know, technicalities. But Joker's already in there, so that's technically Shin Megami Tensei. So. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's your Shin Megami Tensei representative right there. Uh, have you played Fire Emblem Three Houses in handheld mode? Uh, is, the, is it good to play in that mode? It's fine. Some people are complaining about the, the text being too small, though. But it plays it plays okay. It's not like it's gonna like frame rate skip and all that stuff like that. <clears throat> I mean, it would be nice to get a Flynn as a me me costume. Is that all you want? Is Flynn as a, as a me costume? <laughs> is that is that what is that what you like in the game? That'd be nice. I mean, it would be nice if everybody can get the characters they want in the game. Obviously, it's not going to happen, though, man. We got Joker. We got we got, we got got freaking Banjo, and I know you're a big Banjo fan. Just be happy with what we're getting, man. <laughs> like, just be happy with what you're getting. We're getting weird. We got Joker. That's Shin Megami Tensei. We got Banjo. I mean, we got the hero from Dragon Quest. I mean, we've got Bayonetta. We've got Cloud. We've got Mega Man. We've got so many characters, like... Can we just be happy? With, can we just be happy with what we're getting? Can we just be happy that this is even happening in the first place? Everybody would say, "Oh, it would be nice if they get their own character. Like, it'd be nice if they get this character. It'd be nice if like there're five thousand characters. It'd be nice if the game had five million characters and everybody gets their characters in every single time. That'd be great. But can we just once for once just be happy with what we're getting? Like, especially with Smash." <clears throat> just for once, I mean, like. <laughs> there's no other game on the market like smash there's no other fighting game on the market there's no other game that has done what they're doing at this level and people are still kind of like it'd be nice if we get this like well when does it stop how many characters do you guys want in the game is, is there gonna be like it'd be nice if we get this character and this character is there gonna be like 500 characters in the game are we gonna pay for all that like are they gonna work on this game forever like when's when's it gonna stop how's the balancing you know it's like that's why I'm not really sitting here like I don't make like videos like oh this needs to be inside in terms of, like Smash Brothers characters and all that like I'll talk about it but it's not like I'm I, I'll say everything I'm content with what they've already put in there I'm content if they bring this character cool but I'm content with what they got you know um, um I'm probably gonna play Fire Emblem tonight I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna play I'm gonna come back with the uh, Black Eagles and play Fire Emblem later tonight. Especially with Banjo, people felt like uh, he was at home when he got announced for Smash. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with, I guess, like, you know, saying it'd be nice to have this character. There's nothing wrong with that. So I don't, don't want to sit there and make it seem like, like I'm angry or anything. But like, okay, but like, jump on, you're a huge Banjo fan. You know what I'm saying? I know you're a big Banjo fan. And you got Banjo. And now you're saying it'd be nice if you had this character. I and mean, it's like, you know, it's like, bro, you got your Banjo, man. Like, okay, you know, that's good enough, man. Like, that, that should be, you should be content at this point. You got Banjo. You were asking for him. You got him, you know, and now you're saying, oh, well, it'd be nice if there's this. It's like, but you got, but you just got Banjo. You just got the character you wanted, dude. Like, <laughs> you just got the character that you said that you wanted in there that you were happy and you were excited about. And now it's, oh, well, it'd be nice if there's this character. It's just like, bro, Banjo ain't even out yet. <laughs> 
Angel ain't even out yet. You got your character you wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you got your character, you know? <laughs> so, like I said, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, do characters only die in missions? I'm auxiliary and kind of curious. Oh, the only only place, to, well, unless it's part of the story, the only place a character can die is in the mission. They can't die like getting poisoned in the monastery or something like that, unless it's part of the actual story they were supposed to die. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. No, it's all good. Like I said, I've, I mean, with Smash Brothers, I've always, like, with, especially with Ultimate, I'm like, hey, man, whoever they put in, cool. You know, like, because we already got, like, 70 something characters. So, you know, it'd be great if Leon S, like, you know, Leon S. Kennedy, that'd be cool if he was in. But if he's in, he's in. If he's not, he's not. Like, I don't, it's, it, it's whatever, you know? Um,. So, yeah. Um, all right, guys. Any other questions? I can answer questions for about 15 more minutes. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a break. And then I'll be back later tonight with... Um, I'm going to edit a video. And then I'll be back later tonight with... Uh, what's it called? With Fire Emblem. So 15 more minutes of questions. Is this the four time that Switch is Doom? What does that mean? You mean Doom has four Switch games? Or Doom is on the Switch, the fourth release? So there's Doom 2016. There's Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 3. So yes, four of them. I'll answer your question that way. Did you say did you say something, Arash? <laughs> y'all y'all hear something? I, I didn't I didn't hear it or see it. I, I didn't hear anything. Did you say something, Arash? I didn't see it. Um Yo, what's up? What's up, Juan? How's it going? Uh Dank Beam says, uh, do you uh do you an announcement at Evo for um uh, Announcement at EVO Finals for Smash. Oh, okay. An announcement. Yeah, you know what? A lot of people are, are anticipating or suspecting that there could be something up at EVO for Smash. Uh, maybe the hero being released. Um, I think maybe there's something going on. Nintendo's going to be there in some capacity, I guess, right? Or they're sponsoring like they usually do. Or they're going to be part of the sponsors like in the little sponsor board. So something could be going down. So we'll see. Jumpmon, we're, we're cool. We're just teasing you, Jumpmon. It's okay. We're just teasing you, my man. It's all good. My bad. My bad for continuing it. My bad. Sorry about that, dude. People still said Switch is doomed because it doesn't have games for Switch. Dragon Gamer, I, I can barely comprehend what you're trying to say. Um, but if people say that, that's good. Let them let them say that. Let them go ahead and say that. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever people are trying to say, let them let them say it. Let them say it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. The switch was never doomed to begin with. The switch was doomed. The switch was doomed in in two thousand uh, 2017. late twenty seventeen. That's when the switch was doomed. <laughs> uh, did Arash say something spoilerish? Uh, nah, he just said something trollish. So I made a joke out of it because he's been spamming that. Like I'm not spamming, but he's been saying it a couple a number of times now. So on this last one, I just said, I just, I erased this comment and said, did y'all hear something? It's a joke. That's a, it's like a, I want to say meme, but it's like a saying, like, did y'all hear something? You know, somebody say something? Nah, because not, I'm not paying attention. That's basically what it was. It was just a little bit of a joke. Um, it's a, or says, uh, 
Are you getting the Are you getting the Dooms game? The Dooms Doom games, <laughs> Dooms games. <laughs> Doom, he's like Doom, Doom, like the the demons, like I want to play Doom on the Switch too. I'm gonna buy it. Pff, burns his damn ATM card. Burns his debit card. Ah, oh, I can't buy the game now. My card's burnt. What am I gonna do next? <laughs> Doom's games. He's like, oh well, I just don't know how to play. So one of the one of the demons is like, well, I don't I don't have hands. All I do is shoot fireballs out of my mouth. Damn it! Why do they make these controllers so crappy? I gotta send my Joy Cons in. They're burnt to hell. <laughs> Doom's games. Um, <laughs> now nah, I'm just messing with you, Rash. I'm just messing with you. Uh, nah, man, I ain't trying to play them dizzy ass games, Doom games on the Switch. <laughs> I don't, I don't care, man. Those games are boring as hell. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna be playing Fire Emblem, dude. Uh, OJ the Demon. <laughs> oh man, the Switch is doomed. It won't even sell as much as the Wii U. Calling it now. Switch sucks. <laughs> Circa, circa 2016. <laughs> circa October 2016. <laughs> circa OJ and Super Metal Dave watch watch the the Nintendo direct the Nintendo reveal of the Switch. There, doomed, doomed. As soon as that moment dropped, doomed right there, baby, baby. Um. Dank Meme says, what would the best-selling console Switch Lite or DS? Probably the DS, dude. I don't think the Switch Lite's going to sell 150 million plus. Sweet Life of Dio Brando says, Wii U uh, still has some great exclusives like Pikmin 3, Mario 3D World, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Xenoblade X, and Wonderful 101. That, that's, that's, the, <laughs> that's the Wii U defense tower list. It's like the, the last line of defense where it's just like, like shadowy figures of each of those games. Like you just have like Olimar like going like this and it's like a silhouette. They still have, the Wii U still has Pikmin 3 and then like all of a sudden you see, you see Olimar go like this. The Wii U still has the Wonderful 101 that you see, you know, Wonder Red like this. <laughs> the Wii U still has Xenoblade Chronicles X. And then you see, like, your avatar just like, like, are you going to finish my story? <laughs> the Wii U still has 3D World. And you just see, like, you just see a bunch of people, like, you just see Mario and all of them running just like this. That's, it's the last Wii U line of defense. <laughs> the last, they're on the last stand. Remember the Alamo, dude. <laughs> The Switch and all the games are bombarding the Alamo. You just see the, you just see Wonder Red and, and Olimar and all of them fighting back with all they can, dude. <laughs> fighting back as hard as possible. The Wii U is on class. The Wii U is on lunatic, lunatic, classic mode, <laughs> with no divine protection, with no turn wheel. <laughs> it's on its last legs, bruh. It's on his last legs. The last line of Wii U games defense is here. <laughs> Their whole squad's been wiped out. Donkey Kong got wiped out. You know what I'm saying? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, their leader, wiped out. <laughs> Bayonetta was like, bye. <laughs> wiped out. Everybody's been Hyrule Warriors. Link was like, yeah, yeah, and just wiped out. I rule, although there is Twilight Princess and Moon Waker, but those are re-releases of games that you can already play on different systems. But yeah, Poke and Turtle was like, we out. End game, dude. <laughs> so when you just see Furukawa on the Switch, he has the Infinity Stones. Let's go, man. Uh, the Wii U got Pikmin 3, Xenoblade, Chronicles X, Wonderful 101, Wonderful 103 World. All right, yeah, the same games that we already mentioned. Um... They got fan. They're they're in the middle of getting Thanos. The Wii, as soon as all the rest of those games come over, the I mean, the Wii U's already been Thanos when it comes to sales, but when it comes to the actual games, like it's got a few more. It's got a few more, but it does have a virtual console. It does have a virtual console that's definitely better than what the Switch offers. So there is that. You keep that in mind that there is the virtual console on the Wii U. Although people complained about that virtual console too. People said this sucks. The Wii Virtual Consoles, wah. Way better. I want to play this game that I've already purchased seven times. I want to purchase it again. On the Wii, on the Wii U, on the 3DS, on the, the GBA. I want to purchase it multiple times. 
I want to purchase it multiple times. Um, <clears throat> if you're pro con, pro controller, if you're pro controller, just go talk to Nintendo. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna do anything for you here. We can't fix it for you. <clears throat> Arash says, OJ, you may think I'm crazy, but I like the GameCube more than the Wii U. Why would why would I think that you're crazy for that, Arash? Give me hold up, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question. Give me one reason why I think you were crazy that you would like the GameCube more than the Wii U. Why will Give me one reason why. What why? Why would I think that you're crazy? Why? I don't get that. What's a good Metal Gear game? A lot of the Metal Gear games are good. Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes is good. Metal Gear Solid 2 is good. Metal Gear Solid 3 is good. Metal Gear Solid 4 is good. Some people like Metal Gear Solid 5. What do you mean, what are some good Metal Gear games? Were you born yesterday? <clears throat> the best game on the Wii U was Star Fox Guard. Everything else was trash. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Star Fox Guard, dude. That's a great game. When is the Switch getting a, getting its own browser? Never. Use your phone. Somebody they they were obviously they were obviously trolling VC. No Xenoblade uh, for the GameCube is a good reason, right? <laughs> That's true. There is no Xenoblade game for the GameCube, <laughs> but Xenoblade or but uh, GameCube does have Fire Emblem, you know. So, so there's there's trade offs, you know, and GameCube also has Skies of Arcadia. Just started Three Houses, nice. Hopefully you're enjoying it. It's a good game. Well, actually, no, it's a trash. Actually, the game's trash. It's actually trash. Sorry. Did I speak out of character just for a little bit? The game's trash. What character arc are you are you are you hating in Fire Emblem? What do you mean? What character arc am I hating? I'm not hating anything so far. I just started playing. Um, I'm five hours into Fire Emblem. Pretty good. I ain't raving about it. It does deserve all the praise it's received. All right. Well, that's fine. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better as it goes along. Five hours isn't enough time for a Fire Emblem game, in my opinion, because you still got to advance classes, time skip. Five, five five hours is nothing in Fire Emblem. It's nothing. You still haven't unlocked the black. Still haven't unlocked the blacksmith. Still have the custom com, uh, combat arts. Being able to swap them, swapping classes. There's so much stuff that you haven't even you haven't even seen. <clears throat> but no, I think it's I think it's pretty. I think Fire Emblem's pretty damn good. Voice acting's on point. Monastery. Side quests are on point. Everything, everything's pretty damn good about the game, in my opinion. Even in the first, in the first five, it's pretty. I think it's pretty good. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, that's true. GameCube does have a thousand year door. The one thing, when, I think somebody said that we can play GameCube games. Not all Wii's can play GameCube games, by the way. So just keep that in mind. Some Wii's cannot play GameCube games. we giving away pins. I already talked about this. Information tomorrow. Giving away a game. Once again, giving away a game. Mostly all just going to sell the game. If I give away Fire Emblem Three Houses, y'all just gonna sell it. 
if you're just gonna and so what's the point because a lot of you guys are gonna buy it. if i give away these pins at least you're gonna be able to either have something rare or sell it for higher than what you actually sell the game for so we're giving away pins I would say that's what I'm saying. Like you give it to a friend that would um, that wants the game, and that's fine. But I'd rather give away something more rare than than the game. I've already done game giveaways, and most people just sell the game. If I give away these pins, these pins are rare. This is something that's different. So we're giving away pins, guys. A lot of you guys keep asking about game giveaway. We're giving away pins. A lot of you guys just want to sell the game anyway. So just sell these pins. You'll get more money for it. <laughs> a lot of you guys want to. Some of you guys will actually keep it because they're cool. But I mean, a lot of you guys just want to sell it anyway. So if you're going to sell it, that's cool. But you'll trust me. You're going to get more money for the pins if you wait a little bit. <clears throat> these are rare. These are rare pins that my GameStop only had 10 of them. Only had 10, and I got two. Only 10. And I got two. I got two of them. Um, if you can hack it, are you able to use a GameCube adapter to use the GameCube controller on an application? It's called Nintendo. I don't know what, what I don't know what the hell you're talking about, dude. <clears throat> Any other uh, questions, guys? Um, we went a little we're a little bit over on time, so I'll take some last questions, and then we're gonna wrap it up, and then I am going to take a break, and then I'm gonna be back with some gameplay tonight. Probably like start it like around maybe like six o'clock my time. So in about two hours, we'll start up some gameplay. So the Wii? Okay. That's great. But there's still a lot of Wii's that can't play GameCube games, though. You have to do something weird to it. That's like saying, okay, yeah, my PC's a GameCube, because like you can hack it to play a PC or play GameCube games. Like lots of stuff can be hacked. But I'm just saying like there are Wii's that can't play GameCube games. You know? That's all I was trying to say. That natively can't play GameCube games. That's it. Um, I'm not talking about hacks and all that. Um, well, the first five hours, I'm enjoying the heck out of it, so I can't wait to play the other 75 hours of gameplay. Then, yeah, the, I think the I don't think the first five hours are like bad. I think it's pretty damn good. I mean, what they've introduced. Obviously, they, there's still a lot of mechanics and systems. It's it's a little bit slower paced, but based on what I've seen, like in terms of, like the side quests and being able to kind of do all the different type of stuff that you can do so far, it's actually pretty cool. It's actually it's actually pretty cool. It's not bad in the first first bit. They do open it, it does start slow though, a little bit slow, which is fine. But I thought I thought the first five hours are pretty, pretty damn good. The opening cutscenes, dope. Um, there's already intrigue, you have lots of choices that you can pick between, and that's already starting like to get you like support, you know. It's like they and like you can tell like with, whether you made a good choice or a bad choice. So, I mean, there's already there's already enough like voice acting is on point for people, cutscenes are on point. So I think I think it's pretty good first first five. All right, take it easy, Jarmo. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Uh, Renza, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a switch light. Yeah, TH3. I think it's time for you to restart, man. I, I, it seems like you've been falling into a deep pit of despair this whole stream of you messing up. It seems like that's happened a lot to you, man. Are you okay? Is everybody dead? Is your whole team dead? Is your whole team gone, dude? <laughs> Is everybody dead? I hope for TH3. Uh, do you see Fire Emblem Three Houses sell three million in less than a month time? Uh, I don't know about three million. But we'll see. I gotta make a video on the sales though. The sales in the reviews video. I gotta make a video. I gotta make a video for tomorrow morning on that. Excuse me. All right. So we are going to uh, everyone. Yeah. THT restart. Um, all right, guys. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate that. I am going to work on a video for you guys. I'm going to wrap up some sales information, and some news with Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching today. I do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. 
please make sure you check out my astral chain video um if you have not checked it out check out my astral chain video it is right here i'm linking it also guys make sure you follow me on twitter a lot of you guys are saying that you're not getting notifications and stuff like that follow me on twitter never miss a notification never miss anything at any point you know what i'm saying so make sure you guys follow me on twitter as well okay um and thank you guys for being awesome users and dealing with my witty sarcasm and humor um so so yeah um so anyway all right so that wraps it up here guys uh busy on the jet something you said um is sound important in fire emblem when the kids i play the game with sound down um sound isn't no nah, it's not really too important to be honest no um no nah, you just you just gotta pay attention to all the on-screen stuff you can be you can be deaf and still play the game no problem <laughs> so no sounds not too important no not not that i've noticed so far at least um but all right guys thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it and uh we will be back uh we will be back for um for gameplay tonight on youtube will be black eagles playthrough we're gonna start up the golden deer probably this weekend or something like that um, but we gotta do we're gonna do pe ultimate this weekend so we're gonna play uh we're gonna play like mario kart or something like that so we're probably gonna play some mario kart um so that should be fun uh so look forward to that tomorrow um i think we're gonna play fire emblem maybe tomorrow as well but we're definitely gonna play mario kart tomorrow so look forward to having we're gonna have a big nice long mario kart session where we just play a bunch so that's gonna be fun um yeah mario kart tomorrow but you guys think that i forgot about pe ultimate you guys think i forgot about that no i did not forget about pe ultimate i did not forget pe ultimate is back baby it's back we still playing uh so we're gonna play mario kart tomorrow we're gonna have fun um, but alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching, I do appreciate it, we'll see you guys back in just a couple hours for more Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Black Eagles, peace!